Coach Thomas and his compatriots enter an empty classroom with an academic advisor, Alicia. So, Alicia, what have you called us here for? Your team captain, Matt, has failing grades in four classes, and this must be rectified. That sounds like your department. I make sure that the players are properly trained for their games, and I don't have time to worry about anything else in their lives. I will have to pull Matt from the team if he ends up failing more than one of his classes this semester. We should take a utilitarian approach to this decision by giving another student a scholarship in exchange for doing all of Matt's work for him, the university, the team, Matt, and that particular student all experience the greater good. I find that suggestion highly offensive. Think of this with a universal approach. If everyone did that, the college degree would be meaningless. Look, football players aren't here for education. And anyway, that scenario you suggested just isn't plausible when it comes to reality. This isn't an ethical dilemma. Your suggestion clearly violates the school's code of ethical conduct. But the probability of effect is low, by which I mean there is little chance of anyone finding out about our minor violation. People have been doing this for decades and never face consequences. I will personally be a whistleblower if you decide to take this route. Alicia, there is no compensatory justice for my players. They deserve much more than they get, and I'm not allowed to pay them. It would fall under distributive justice to help them with their classes in this way. You're having an ethical lapse in judgment, coach. If you go through with this, the board will use the justice approach, and you'll be fired immediately. The temporal immediacy is great. I am an agent of the university. According to the efficiency perspective, I should be working to maximize their profits. And I, to do that, I need my team captain. Then you need to get him to raise his grades without cheating. My proximity to this issue is very close because I was raised with the academics as my number one priority. I don't expect your moral intensity on this issue to be the same. But after hearing the magnitude of the consequences, which I will make sure get followed through on, you will agree that our society's social consensus that cheating is wrong. Excuse us just one moment, please. How do you think we should play this? You need to adopt a more strategic corporate social responsibility perspective. And take note that Alicia is now a stakeholder in the situation, as well as all the students who do well on the university on their own. That's all fine and well, but I think we should go past Alicia and try to get the teachers to cook the books to raise Matt's grades. Coach, this will lead to externalities that you won't want to deal with. You should just take the moral rights approach and raise Matt's grades the right way. Fine. Alright, Alicia. You swayed my and my sub-coach's hearts. I'll work to get Matt's grades back on track by the end of the semester. I'm glad you've decided to adopt managerial ethics, Thomas. I'll be seeing you.